we are here in Chinatown in New York City, and I'm about to take you somewhere extremely special and close to my heart, Spicy Village. People in the food world like this place. Mark Bittman from the New York Times, he wrote a piece on it. He said he really enjoyed it. Chef Danny Bowen has openly admitted that he's taken some recipes from here. I probably ate here 20 times. We honestly like totally knocked off a few of their dishes because they're so delicious. They're known for their handful of noodles, which are super delicious and definitely hard to make well. Their fans are so intense that they even created t-shirts for the restaurant on their own dime. I went and talked to Spicy Village's owner, Wendy Leon, about what it's been like for her tiny restaurant to grow such a fan base. Uh, Wendy, thank you for coming to my restaurant. I'm very happy. When did you open the door? I've been open for six years. Six years? Yes. Before we were doing that, like that buffet. And my husband actually 他经常在外面吃吃吃，就华盛吃啊，什么地方都吃，吃的就觉得这个烩面很好吃，然后我们就想着去学这个，又讲做烩面啊，对对，做烩面的，学了开始也没有生意，大概我想应该有两年，两年都没有很好。那然后呢，那时候不是那个 Mission Chinese 那个老板嘛，啊，过来吃嘛 ，Danny Bowen， 对呀、啊， yeah. 他们过来吃，然后介绍了一下 New York Times，、yeah. 他们也来拍我们，然后拍了一下，越来越好了，就。就我们现在一直生意都在慢慢。平时是呃啥样人进来吃你饭呢？一般的像像我们中国人的，像像那留学生啊，嗯，像年轻人比较多。嗯。像我们像我们对对对，可能大多数都是白人啊，这些年轻人比较多。嗯。你啥时候来美国的？我来美国差不多有十多年了。十多年了。大概有十七八年了。我来的时候，我自己也是去餐馆打工。嗯，对。我现在可以 doing well， 做做的挺好的。<笑>因为从从很长时间我我进来，我我来这里去跟我朋友，对对对对你看见我和我朋友进来。对对对对对现在我来的，平时啊、呃、第一次来的时候，我们不用不用等，就进来就吃。对对对对，随便做随便做。现在要等二十三十分钟了。对对,对，其实最早的时候是想只是做面，嗯，这个肉夹馍跟大盘鸡呀、啊。嗯是我们好像另外意外的，哎，大家都都喜欢吃大盘鸡，肉夹馍，对，其实肉夹馍真的就是有一点，其实做肉夹馍真的很要很用心的在做，很小心的在做。啊，你看我做了这么久，有时候不小心就把面给弄弄弄砸了。对，真的，所以说真的肉夹馍，我觉得真的挺好的。我也很满意，很好吃。It's done right. It's amazing. It's really good. Brings joy. Brings joy to her, brings joy to me. And now I'm gonna go freaking eat some because I'm obsessed with it. Let's go see. Ah, you just know what I'm eating. Ah, I'm eating a big pan of ramen. Big pan of ramen. Ah, roll ramen. Ah, yeah, roll ramen. Ah, then, um, this chicken and fish ramen. Yeah, and then, um, 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 ramen. So this is the main event. This is the sta panzi, which is literally a big tray of chicken. Uh, so what you do is you order it with these noodles, uh, which is kind of their hallmark thing, and you let the noodles soak in all these juices. So all that spicy goodness is coating each noodle. Every bite, mmm. Mmm. So good. So, so good. It's pieces of these fried chicken in the sauce, and there's also pieces of potato, which have also been just soaking in the sauce. Let the potato sit there for a little bit. So at the end, you get all those juices in the potato. That's the hot tip. And one thing people also ask me is, is this gonna be too spicy for me? I'm like, no. This is the perfect amount of spice. You're gonna get a little bit of the tingle, but not too much. You're gonna have just enough or you're gonna wanna keep eating. I've ordered da panzi at other restaurants, and let me tell you, they are not as good as they are here. This is why this place has a freaking cult following, is the da panzi with these noodles. So coming here, the main event is a big tray of spicy chicken, but we kind of have to have a vegetable on the table, so we usually get cucumber, which is a cold dish. It's cool, it's light, it's refreshing. You do see a little bit of chili on there, but it's not going to be overwhelming. Mm. So another big thing they have is a pork pancake. This is one of their signature dishes as well. 
It's not like the American pancake that you think of that you have for breakfast. It's really sweet. This dough, it's called a pancake, but in Chinese it's a mua, so it's almost like a griddled bun, but it's flat and it's crispy on the outside. Um, so the, the texture inside is quite fluffy. So that's pork in there, kind of a savory sauce on it, and a little bit of cilantro, just a nice savory treat. All those juices in there just makes it, mm, it's good. This is it, egg and tomato, classic homey Chinese dish, just made just at home. This is something my mom would make, for example, when you know she doesn't want to think too much about what she's going to cook. Um, it's just really warming and homey. Mm. Oh yeah, hits the spot. I mean, the noodles are perfect. Handful noodles like these are extremely difficult to make. I know because my mom used to make them really well and then I tried to do it and it was a freaking disaster. Um, basically, they're flour-based noodles and they're perfect because they're thick and they have a bite to them, but they're also really slippery um, and chewy. It's just an amazing texture that is so hard to do at home. Um, so it's a reason to come here. They do it well. It's super affordable. New York, it's the city where sometimes it's hard to find a place where you're regular. And for me, even before I started working in food, this was my place. If you like this, click here to watch more cult following. And you can definitely tell that it's homemade and that this is not an industrial product. Oh, you should you should go for it. I'm doing it. So good.